sweeties. You guys ready to get tidied up? Hey, Buzz. Buzz is still fairly nervous when you're doing stuff in the cage, whether it's cleaning or doing like just the little spot cleaning. But he has to get used to it, so I just carry on. The sisters obviously are a good influence on him, but he still gets quite nervous. So first I'm just gonna remove these beds. Buzz, you don't have to be scared. I do little tidies every morning and every night. So we're gonna get rid of all their beds first. And then I'll just see whichever end they go to, I'll start working on the other end. Cause I don't take any pigs out when I cage clean, unless we're doing nail clippings and whatnot. But I think these guys are all good. So their cage is a three by seven which I think is the perfect size. You're okay, Buzz. So the sisters are four years old and Buzz is about seven or eight months. So he's still a young dude. And I do find it takes a while longer for adult pigs that you've brought in, like that you've adopted to get calmer versus when you've had them as a baby. So I think he could take some time, or maybe he's going to end up being kind of like Velvet, where he's always a little bit nervous and cautious, even though you've had them for a long time. We'll see. Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? So this has all been peed on, so I got to shake this out and a lot of it is just like the really yellow stalks left from Timothy Hay that nobody wants. Okay so they're picking that in so I'm gonna flip this up so they don't move. So under this end is where their heat pad is and a lot of people have asked where do I get it from. I just looked on Amazon for I just typed in like a dog heat pad so that it would be a big one. And it's got like a plastic cover and there's metal around the cord so that they couldn't chew. I don't think the guinea pigs would uh, bother it anyway. Plus it's underneath the cage liner. So this one doesn't have any temperature. So I just put the fleece on top of it and then their beds on top of that and it's perfect. So I originally got it just to have like for recoveries from surgeries or if somebody's not feeling right. But I decided to keep it in the sister's cage because they're getting a bit older. I mean they're middle aged now and I think it'd just be nice on their joints to be nice and warm. Okay sweeties, I just gotta take one more liner away. So the room in here is always 72 so it's perfectly fine for the skinny pigs anyway. But the sisters really do enjoy having that heat pad, so I've kept it there. So they have a choice to sleep in beds over on this side, so they don't have to be on the warm heat pad if it's too much for them. And then this side has some vet bed uh, that was from the herd's cage underneath, so it's extra squishy. So nice for the seniors too. So sometimes I do try to pet little Buzz while he's kind of confined. He reminds me a lot of Raisin where he'll kind of throw caution to the wind and try to jump if you're reaching at him. Hi, sweetie. Hey, Annie. Hey, Buzz. Hey, little bud. Good boy. You're a good boy. You show him it's okay, Annie? You're okay, Buzz. Oh, don't go over there, hun. That's a hot pad. Thank you. Okay, I better cover that because I do not want them walking on that barefoot. That could very well be way too warm. I was trying to work pet and Busby and you're escaping. Hey little Buzz. Hi Buzz. Hi sweetie. Can I pet you? I know I have a weird glove on. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. 
is a good boy, Buzzy. You're good. Oh, good boy. See? Humans aren't so bad. Okay. And I have gloves on. I started wearing them because I have allergies to hay. And in the winter when my hands are dry, if there's any cracks, the hay really causes irritation when it gets into the cracks. So I find it's just easier to wear gloves right now. It's not because I'm squeamish. I never used to wear gloves, but just find sometimes cleaning them out really irritates my hands if I don't. Yeah, I don't think you guys are gonna walk across that. So I'll have to put another section down. Okay, I'll split this up a little bit. From Pretty Little Mermaids and some fish fleece. Okay, you guys go across. Can you show them the way? Here, sweeties. You go across, ton. Okay, follow Annabelle. Yep, go on, Annie. You go ahead. Good girl. Good job. You going, Buzz? Good boy. Yeah, you follow the girls. <laughs> they're so cute. So they're all doing really well together. Uh, Buzz just has the random times where he'll know he'll do like the rumbling or sniff their butt for a second. But he's definitely calmed down for not like chasing them around, which is nice. So it probably took about a good week for him to kind of cool it. Like, I mean, he's still can be a little bit annoying, but he's kind of still in the t zone. Probably once he gets over a year old, maybe he'll be even calmer. But the girls don't seem to mind him. Never once have I heard any negative sounds, so like no chattering or snorting or anything like that. So even when he is annoying, he's not bugging them too bad, which is great. And I mean, it's all part of him learning how to get along with them too. Like he's got to learn that he can't always bug them or they're going to get kind of ticked off at him. So every morning and every night I change this pad. This is where I put their hay on and you would not believe how much skinny pigs pee. So I have to change it morning and night. And I still don't have a hay box back for these guys. And I don't know if I really need one because they don't waste hay like the other pigs. They don't sit on it and pee on it where like the other pigs will do that if I give them huge piles. So that's kind of nice. Okay, I'm gonna get their hay and then set up their beds. So they're getting some Timothy. And then this is uh, orchard grass, just so that they have both. Put a little bit over there. What do you think, Buzz? Yeah, you guys will be soon. Are you talking, Angus? So we'll do a couple cuddle cups and then that end I usually put their snuggly beds. So for this side, I put this um, overhang so that they aren't really bugging the herd. Mostly Buzz. I was just worried about if he'd be too interested in them or the new baby and want to jump into there. You never know. Because if you guys remember, I had the lid on his cage. And then over here, I have it up two grids high so that he can't jump into there. Because he's definitely likes to flirt with Autumn and Autumn is not spayed and that was originally why I wanted to make sure that Busby was neutered so that he could be near everybody and there'd be no accidents and I also wasn't too sure yet whether I was going to have to put him with a baby pig because I didn't know if he was going to get along with the girls or not. But now that he is neutered, we can do any kind of combo that we want. 
if we ever have to. Because, I mean, these ladies are quite a bit older than him. So, somewhere down the line, we've got lots of options. I have to say I was really surprised that the girls took to him so easy. Just based on other experiences with them when they're pretty wild and quite could be quite aggressive so it was very nice and a pleasant surprise that they let him right in okay so this side we have three cozy beds to go in and they have room to run along the back and out the sides so they can sleep there if they want or if they don't want to be on the hot pad they can go down there but 99% of the time, they're, all three of them are down there. And it's nice and warm. And with the fleece, this is a uh, fleece with like two layers of U-Haul. And technically two layers of fleece, one on the bottom, one on the top. So it does not get too hot on the top. It's definitely very warm, but it's not too hot, if you guys know what I mean. So it's just nice and comfortable. Okay, so that's really it for these guys. I'll fill up waters later and then they don't get any more pellets until the morning so once their portion of pellets are done for the day that's it they just have their hay to eat little buzzes hiding under the hay there okay so Angus and Autumn are next hi sweeties how are you you little cute patoots So these guys are a male-female pair. Angus is neutered. So all my males are neutered now. So I have Angus, Busby, and Huckle. So Angus is neutered and he lives with Miss Autumn, who is my only, well I guess not my only female anymore, who isn't spayed. Because obviously baby Veda isn't spayed. And I cannot believe that Angus is going to be four years old in February. So his mom uh, turned four in November and he will be four, as I said, February. His mom was really young when she had him, which had nothing to do with me because I adopted all of these guys. Um, the people who originally bought Annabelle and Annie off of a breeder Annie came to them pregnant and they didn't know that so she was just like a little thing when she had babies and I adopted Angus when he was four weeks old and then it wasn't for like another year or year and a half that that family asked me to take the girls as well and I can remember when I first got the girls, I thought I was gonna have them live with Angus and Autumn, and that wasn't happening. So this is a cat litter scooper that I used to brush the hair and the hay off the fleece before I wash it, and it actually works really well. Can I have this uh, cube? Thank you. So these guys are pretty easy to clean out. They're not too messy. Not like the herd's cage, which feels like it takes forever. Okay, I'm gonna take this pad. I'm gonna sneak it out from under here. There we go. So I don't think anybody needs nails done. So I do nails on cage cleaning nights because it's easier to pick the pigs up because all I have to do is like get them stuck on one of the liners to pick them up rather than chasing them around the cage. Okay, we'll sneak this one out too. All right, you guys are gonna be on some pretty, pretty flowers. And people always ask if I clean the base. Um, generally speaking, most of the time I don't. Only because the times where pee 
actually makes it to the chloroplast is so rare that unless I see a spot where pee has gone on it, I don't wipe it down. But I will, you know, maybe once a month. So what I use for cleaning the chloroplast when I do is I have a spray bottle that's half vinegar, half water. And that's all I use with a cloth or get a cloth wet with, you know, warm soapy water. But generally speaking, just the vinegar water solution is what I prefer. And since these liners are so thick, it's very rare that I ever see any pee on the coroplast. The most I have to do is the outside, you know, trim, because you get like pee and veggie splatters on that. But as for the main base, I hardly ever see anything on it, thankfully. Munchkin, sorry, that was very loud. I did not mean to bang that down. Hi, little sweeties. So I've been working on trying to pet Autumn in the cage, and it's very tricky. So she's a pig that once you have her on your lap, she absolutely loves it. But petting her in the cage can be a real challenge. There's some days where I was able to, and she really enjoys it. But a lot of the times, as soon as you start reaching over her head, she runs from you. So it's been something that I've been trying to work on. And my success rate is not that great, which is too bad. Angus, he doesn't like to be pet. He's a friendly little guy, but he does not have any interest in being pet. Even when I have him out of the cage, he hates you touching him. He gets very nervous and actually starts to shake. He reminds me a lot of Littlefoot, just like a really cute, goofy, silly personality, but doesn't have much interest in being touched or taken out of the cage, which is totally fine. So I usually give these guys uh, one bed to go in and then one like snuggly bed. I don't know if that made sense. This bed is more for Autumn is what she likes. And then obviously Angus being naked, his preference is to have the snuggly tunnels. So I give them one of each. Here we go. And that's about that. These guys are actually pretty good for not wasting hay either. They don't go on top and pee. So really it's just the herd that's messy. Okay, so next we have the herd's cage. So I clean their cage a little bit different than I used to. I used to block everybody off in this section and cleaned out that section. Now I don't use anything to block them off. Um, reason being, Veda is so tiny and sometimes they get pretty pushy in this area that just my paranoia was I don't want her getting trampled or squished. And then I don't want her to panic and try to slip through the grids. So there's plexiglass around all the grids right now so that she can't slip through. So my divider is just grids that goes across there. And I just don't want her to panic and think that she should try to fit through there. So that's what we're doing different is just I don't block them off. I just start clearing everything out. And as I take the liners away, the other pigs don't like to go on the underneath pad, which is vet bed. So they usually stay on the dirty liner so that I can set down fresh ones and then they kind of transfer themselves. Veda will go on the vet bed, which doesn't matter. So a lot of people were wondering, obviously, is uh, why is Veda in the cage? So the truth is, um, I was actually looking at getting her 
saw her on an ad, uh, I was thinking about getting her for Busby, because at the time I thought there was no way he's going to end up going with the sisters, because, you know, the sisters can be pretty tough. So I kind of had her picked out. And then once he did go with the sisters, I found I still wanted to get her. And I haven't talked about it yet, but um, since Pecan is no longer here, uh, I found it very hard to look in the herd's cage. Um, Pecan had such a presence and was just an absolute love and just really lit up the whole cage for me. So I was finding it, I guess, just depressing to look in the cage and not see Pecan looking back at me. So it's been a very welcomed distraction to have Veda in here and have something happy and cheery. I mean, all the pigs make me happy. It's just, it was very sad. So having Veda in the cage has, you know, distracted the other guys from Pecan's loss and has been a very nice distraction for me as well. Um, I miss Pecan like crazy. Had her for six and a half of her seven years and for the last two years I'd say have been was on a schedule with her for her medications. Had to be on time with those every, every uh, 12 hours. So not having her around it felt very wrong on the plus side though um having veda in the herd just made me realize that for a long time the herd cage was kind of filled with stress because i had apple who all of this year before she was let go had um, medical problems, then Pecan was having medical problems. So looking into the herd's cage for the longest time, I was kind of filled with dread of thinking, is everybody okay today? Is everything all right? So now looking in the herd's cage, it's not so stressful. So it's been a very tough year this year. I lost uh, my two most senior pigs apple and pecan and of course they were my two pigs that were like the most bonded to me and the tamest the pigs who loved to be picked up and snuggled and cuddled and paid attention to so that's been really hard as well to have lost both my pigs that were kind of the most people pigs I guess but you know, what can you do, right? Hi, sweetie. Hi, little baby. So I've been trying to bond with Veda, and it's a little bit difficult in this cage. As you guys can imagine, trying to uh, pick up a baby is complicated, and with this cage layout, very complicated you go to try to get her and then if she runs to one side I have to walk all the way around to try to get her on this other side and if I try to you know pick her up within a bed like I do for bigger pigs it doesn't work with her because you can hardly get your hands to cover it and she can slip through the tiniest spot so she's only been here it'll be two weeks um, on Sunday which is probably when this video is coming out so I haven't tried to bug her too much because I don't want her to associate me with something scary. I don't want her to be like, oh, that lady's going to try to pick me up. That's scary. So I've just been trying to let her have her space. It took her about a full week to get used to even just having veggies. She didn't want to eat any until a week. So I'm just trying to let her settle, but I really would like to start picking her up. Okay. So cage cleaning nights, I still pick up velvet every cage cleaning night, which is twice a week. Put coconut oil on her feet and just check her hernia. So anybody that doesn't know, yeah. she does have a, so a gap in her abdomen where some fat pokes out. And I just always have to check to make sure nothing has worsened. Like you wouldn't want a loop of intestine to poke out. 
Uh, my vet said like the chances of that she feels aren't that high, but you never know. So anyway, she can be a bit difficult to pick up. So lately, I like to just let her scoot into a bed. It's less stressful for her. Here, sweetie. Do you want to go in that bed or would you rather I just pick you up? Well, look at you. Oh, you're going to be sneaky. Okay, so since she has her hernia, I put my one hand between her back legs to put it right under her stomach to hold all of her fluff inside because I don't want any extra strain being put on the hernia area. So Velvet, I always check her eyes. Uh, she has the Abyssinian fur, so sometimes her fur actually curls in and gets very close to her eyes or touches her eyes. So we do trims of that. It looks good because we just did it last week. But that's something that I do for her just to make sure nothing's bugging her. Um, her back feet are always dry. I think it's from how she lived for a year before I got her on kind of like dirty bedding. So let's pick up her little foot and put some coconut oil on the bottom and it works good there's some times where her foot almost looks perfect and then other times it looks a bit dry again so I just do this uh you know twice a week just to stay on top of it because dry feet could turn into bumble foot if you don't keep care of it so the other thing we do for velvet is trim all her bum fur to just keep things clean because this fur grows really long and kind of curls under and can get quite messy. I trimmed it not that long ago, so she looks good. You're such a good girl. Um, and then I just check her bum to see if she just needs a quick little tidy. Because sometimes she does, not much. Yeah, not much. We're good. And if anybody doesn't know... Velvet I adopted when she was about a year old. So she just turned three. So I've had her for two years. She's come a long, long way. She's an absolute sweetheart. Still nervous when she's in the cage. Okay, so my hand like literally is all the way up to here, my fingers, so that I have full support of her bottom abdomen. There we go. And that also lets me feel her hernia and everything feels exactly as it should. You're so good. So I just try to set her down very carefully. There we go. Good girl. Okay, so that's the main thing that I have to check for. Sometimes I check Reese Bear's bum. She has a very fluffy inner thigh fur. So every once in a while she needs that trimmed, but I can see when she was walking away that she still looks tidy. Uh, the other pigs is just gonna be when it's nail clipping time, but we don't need any of that done right now. Hi, BB Veda. So Veda is already getting bigger and I can see on top, she's already having more dark gray coming in. So like the dark gray that's on her snout, I can see a couple patches on her back showing up. So I don't know, I was debating about picking her up today, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll give her a little bit more time to get settled because she's just really starting to get more confident now. So I think I'll take all these liners out and shake them out after. You look so much bigger. She looks like double the size of when she first got here. And from the ad, uh, it said that she was cream colored. So I was pre pleasantly surprised when I picked her up to see that she's, I guess like everybody calls it lilac. So like a grayish with a hint of purple in it. She's so pretty. And she has the, like the pretty little ruby colored eyes. So cute. Everybody is so cute though. Okay, we're gonna move on to this section. Sorry, Miss Velvie. You'll have to hightail it out of there. I forget if I told you guys, but Velvet's uh, second in command. So when she joined the herd originally, 
she was on the bottom and she slowly worked her way up which is just crazy to think because she was like the scaredest pig you ever met to start with So while Raisin was recovering from her spay, Raisin had to get a spay because she had um, something growing in her uterus. So anyway, she was divided off and while Ray was gone, Velvet overtook Reese for position. And then when Raisin came back, uh, Velvet overtook her. She made, Reese, she, made, she made Raisin be bottom pig. So it was very interesting. And I, for sure, Ray, uh, Reese never cared if Velvet overtook her. Reese is a pig that doesn't want to have any fights, so she'll just be like, whatever. Very much like what Pecan's personality for fitting in was like. Raisin had a problem with it, though. And that was where, luckily, Hucky swooped in and told the girls just to get along and everything was okay. But like, who would have thought that Velvet would be like the queen of the cage? Hucky's the king, and she is the queen. Aren't you my pretty girl? You're so gorgeous. She's just a big baby. Are you scared? Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetheart. You're a good girl. I just love you. You're good. You can cross over there, you know. It's just the tiniest little strip of orange. You can make it. All right, she did it. So the herd's cage, I always find the messiest. Well, there's five pigs in it, but they literally poop and pee everywhere. Where the other two, like their main poop and pee is where they're eating, which is much easier to clean up, but these guys are so messy. Are you guys all squished down there? So uh, Veda, her favorite thing is pellets. As soon as she hears the bag crinkle when I'm getting them out in the morning, she yells at the top of her lungs and can't wait to dive in. So she's got some competition because that's Reese's favorite, but I think Veda likes it even more. And she's very cute because if like the adult pigs are eating at the dish, we do the double dishes. She'll just kind of squish her head in wherever she can, grab a pellet and run. But a lot of the, well, since the herd is so laid back, there's lots of times where they just let her squish right in and eat whatever she wants and they don't really bother. The herd's pretty laid back. Okay, guys, you don't all have to be squished down there, you little goof troops. Let's get some beds. Actually, I'm gonna put their hay boxes in before I get beds. Hey, baby Veda, how are you? I think there's a good chance I can get Veda pretty tame since she has the pigs in this cage as her influence and they're all pretty chill pigs, generally speaking. Obviously Velvet's the most nervous, but... Okay, excuse me. So I put this pad between the hay boxes because I do not want her to think even for a second to try to squish there and get stuck or something. There we go. Hi, baby. She's pretty bold though, but I mean, she has these guys to watch and mimic. So if they're not scared of me reaching up here, then she's not. Hi, sweetie baby. Oh, how I would love just to grab you, but I don't want to scare you. Hi, sweetheart. I think it's good for a little while to let her know that she can walk 
by me and stuff without it meaning that I'm going to be grabbing at her. Because I've had her where I'm reaching just like this and she'll run under my arms and stuff, so I think that's good. Okay. So I always put this over here. Just gotta squish this down. Squish that right up to the hay racks there so it gives nice cover so that they feel comfortable while they're eating their hay. And of course we have to fill this gap because it's very scary. I don't know why they think that's scary. Hi, baby Veda. You're so cute. Okay, and we'll fill this little gap. There we go. And don't worry, you see that like hole right there? That's plexiglass. So before I put Veda in, I had to think about all the spots in the cage that might not be baby proof. I guess that was over here. And I also put some of the water bottles down lower for her, and yet she would use the tallest ones, so it didn't matter. So I think we're gonna be all about the couches. Where are you going, baby? What are you doing, little girl? Hi, sweetheart. What's happening, Reese Bear? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this in the corner. I don't wanna scare anybody. Good girl. Put that there. Nice little bed to hide in. Maybe we'll put that on top. Okay. Are you guys exploring? I was going to be tidy in this part. We're not going to keep it like that. Are you stuck, Reesey? No? Can you get out? I think you can. There you go. I'm gonna put this in the back here. Okay, Miss Velvy, I'm coming up behind you. Terrifying stuff. Can I put this behind you? Good girl. Go to the other side. Okay, guys, I will be getting you more hay. You don't have to share that little tiny baby pile, I'll get to it. Okay, so under this section we've got a couch, this little mini cube, we'll put another couch. And then I guess I'll probably put the other wood logs there. Or 
where, where can I put this ray? Or should I put the wood logs over here? So normally I had two tunnels here, so it was quite dark back here for Veda to hide. I think she's getting more used to things now that I should have it more open so she can kind of get mingling with us more. Okay, little buddies. So these guys have um, orchard grass in the hay box and then their Timothy is in a pile. And I think that's it. I think we're done. What do you think, little Vita? And then I just have to shake some stuff out and we're good to go. So it's going to be different back there for it because now it's quite open. Before I couldn't really see what was happening in that back corner because the tunnel it. But like I said, I want her to start getting used to seeing people moving around in here more. So that hopefully soon I'll feel like it's time for me to start picking her up a bunch. What a little cutie. What do you think, Hucky? Hey, baby Veda. You're so pretty. You're such a cutie. What do you think, Hucky? Is that pretty good? Is everything to your liking? Nothing beats happy piggies. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!